Hello and welcome to another You Attend by Chronologic YouTube tutorial. My name is James and I am part of the support team for the You Attend system. And today we will be covering the FTP reports uh, and what they do. So first things first is if you click on to reports, we've got a range of reports that you can run manually. Okay, so this would involve you, you, you as an admin or a supervisor logging in and they can click on the report as desired and get the information they need there and then and very simply print and export it. However, some companies we do get uh, from time to time looking for scheduled or automatic reports to be run. These do not operate via email. You will require an FTP server. If you do not know what an FTP server is, there's plenty of information available around on the internet on what they are. Or if you have your own IT company uh, or IT department, you may wish to inquire with them about the logistics of setting up your own FTP server. Once you have your own FTP server, you can select from a list of five available reports uh, to run automatically at specified times during the day. So you can see these are the reports. We have the daily hours report, which is essentially a CSV file with all the hours worked for the current day for each employee. We have the employee list report. This is essentially a list of all your employees that you have active within your account, including things like first name, last name, department, etc. The clocking report is a very popular one. This is essentially a list of all the clocking times that have occurred in the current pay period at the time the report is sent. Very handy, this one. The time clock report is essentially a list of all the time clocks and their time zones in your account. This one isn't too popular as you can actually view this at any time on settings clocking management. And lastly, status is a list of the employee status. You could use this um, just to find out the current status of your employees, whether they're in, out or missing. Those are the only possible statuses. Uh, there's also break and lunch too, if that feature is being used. So you can choose which reports you would like by just clicking and it turns them on. Next, you would choose the frequency in which you would like to have your FTP report sent. So if I click edit, I can choose the time. You may wish to know that these reports are in central standard time. So for us in the UK, you will need to convert CST to GMT. So whatever CST is, uh, it's 3 a.m. there. You will convert 3 a.m. to GMT, and that will tell you the time it will return on English time. So for now, I'm just going to click 8 a.m. And then lastly, the all important part is here. You need to enter in your FTP details. So the host name the username and password in order to access the FTP host. We do have a lot of paperwork uh, and white papers with additional information on how to set up and what is required of your FTP server. If you're seriously considering getting this set up for your UAtend account and you need any further assistance, we do recommend calling the support team on 01761 410084. Uh, one of our support engineers will be happy to provide this information for your IT department and work with you in order to make sure that the tests uh, work and that reports are being sent through from your UAtend account into your newly created FTP server. Thanks for listening. I hope you have found this video useful. Remember to like this video by clicking the thumbs up and subscribe for more content. You can find out more information on how to get in touch with us in the video description down below.